Hey everyone, it's Green Eyed Guide. In today's episode, I wanna talk about how much caffeine is in coffee. What does it mean to have a quote unquote standard cup of coffee and how much caffeine is in some popular coffee beverages? Whether you're listening to this podcast or whether you're watching this on YouTube, remember to hit that subscribe or that follow button so you get notified of new episodes. All right, let's dive right in. All right, let's get into the beverages. So usually with coffees, there is no amount of caffeine on the label. And that's because if you're a coffee, you're not required to do so. You're not required to put the amount of caffeine or even the word caffeine on the label if you're not adding caffeine. So in other words, if you're adding coffee, then you put the words coffee, but you don't have to put the amount of caffeine because it's a natural product. You're not adding caffeine. You're just adding something that contains caffeine. So with a lot of coffees like this Starbucks Frappuccino, like the the little bottles that everyone loves, there's no amount of caffeine listed on this label. Not very helpful if you're trying to know how much caffeine is right for you, if you're trying to find your sweet spot, right? So instead, I'm going to show you this variety of vanilla flavored coffee and energy drink beverages. Let's start with the stereotypical coffee. This is undeniably a coffee product. This is not an energy drink. This is La Colombe coffee. Oops, wrong one. La Colombe coffee vanilla draft latte. Foamy nitrous infused milk plus cold brew. Real coffee drink, not an energy drink. Now, thankfully, even though they are a coffee, even though they are not required to put the amount of caffeine on the label, they did. Thank you. They put 115 milligrams of natural caffeine equals one and a half cups of coffee. And they even have little pictures of coffee cups to help you. So that's a handy little reference. This drink, this La Colum coffee has 115 milligrams of caffeine in there, slightly more than a quote unquote standard cup of coffee. Let's look at something else. This is also not an energy drink. It's more of a functional coffee beverage. It's Keto Super Coffee, protein plus MCT oil, naturally sweetened vanilla enhanced coffee beverage. So they're not calling it an energy drink. They're calling it an enhanced coffee beverage. Well, how much caffeine is in this 12 fluid ounce bottle? Well, again, even though they don't have to put the amount of caffeine on the label, they did. Thank you. 200 milligrams of caffeine equals two cups of coffee. They're also relying on the standard that one quote unquote standard cup of coffee equals 100 milligrams, right? So that's why they have two little cups of coffee on this label because they've got 200 milligrams. All right, let's look at the third one here. Again, a coffee company, Starbucks uh, is the most recognized coffee company, but this is technically an energy drink and they even have energy coffee beverage on the bottom now it's technically an energy drink because even though their first ingredient is brewed coffee they've added guarana b vitamins and ginseng and by doing that they become by definition an energy drink so they also have the amount of caffeine right here on the label 225 milligrams of caffeine so that's a little more than two quote unquote standard cups of coffee and this is a 15 fluid ounce can so thank you for putting that right on the label that helps that's still close to the quote unquote standard cup of coffee right now let's look at our final product again with the vanilla this is vanilla light from monster energy now i know a lot of you associate Starbucks with coffee and Monster Energy with energy drinks, but this is another product that kind of blurs those category lines. Monster's first ingredient here is brewed coffee, just like the Starbucks. And just like the Starbucks, they've added guarana and B vitamins. And just like the Starbucks, they have 200 milligrams of caffeine. Starbucks had 225, this Monster has 200. They're very, very close. So in reality, this Java Monster and this Starbucks Triple Shot are very, very similar in terms of ingredients, in terms of caffeine content. I don't know if it's in terms of flavor, that's up to you personally. But I hope this demonstrates that the amount of caffeine in coffee products varies and you have to be very careful and read the labels. And also I hope this helps you see that just because it's a coffee doesn't mean it's going to be 
weaker or stronger than an energy drink, right? You have to read the label because assumptions can be misleading. Again, if you would like to learn more about different coffees or different energy drinks, you can check out my energy drink report card at greeneyedguide.com slash freebies. I also have a brand new free course called, quote unquote, can I drink this every day? This course is specifically for people who love coffee or love energy drinks, but wonder if it's safe to have it every single day. So I've answered that question for you in this free course. In this free course, you'll learn how to read a label, whether it's a coffee or a tea or an energy drink. I have like a video tutorial that shows you step-by-step -step what I look at when I'm reading a label. And I also have in that course, how much caffeine is safe and how many servings of your favorite drink can you have before you reach the quote unquote daily max. So you can find all those resources at greeneyedguide.teachable.com. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope this helps break some of the stereotypes you may have had for coffees or energy drinks. And I hope you continue to enjoy caffeine safely. Thanks for listening. Take care.